Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and I have a lesson that I think is going to help you learn to compare and order integers. Let's review a little bit. Remember that integers are all positive and negative whole numbers. The farther to the right you go on a number line, the larger the number. The farther to the left you go on a number line, the smaller the number. Well, let's look at this. Negative 6 is less than 1. Well, that's true. First, a negative is always smaller than a positive number. But still, it's to the, to the left on the number line. So yes, it is less than 1. And 2 is greater than negative 4. Well, 2 is a positive number, so it's going to be greater than a negative number, but it's also farther to the right on the number line, which makes it larger. And negative 7 is less than 0. And that's true, negative 7 is farther to the left on the number line. Okay, now we're going to place these numbers on the number line. The first thing I'm going to look at is I'm going to go for the positive numbers because those are the easiest ones. Those are the ones that don't have a negative sign in front of them. And I see a 2 here. So if this is 0, this is 1, and this is 2. I see a 4, 2, 3, and 4. I see a 6. Well, let me get it. 4, 5, and 6. And I see an 8. 6, 7, and 8. Now the negative numbers are trickier because a negative, the digit behind that negative sign, the bigger that digit gets, the farther to the left it is on the number line, which makes it smaller. So it's confusing. You have to think about it. I'm going to go with this negative 1. 0 and negative 1 is right behind it. Negative 1 is smaller than 0. And then I'm going to go with this negative 3. So I have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And then I'm going to go with negative 5. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And the last one is negative 8. There's 0. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, and negative 8. So even though this number behind the negative sign is bigger, because it's a negative number, it's farther to the left, which makes it smaller. Which is the largest number? The largest number on that number line is the one farthest to the right. That is a positive 8. And which is the smallest number? It's the number on the number line that's farthest to the left. That would make it negative 8. We're going to try that again. So I'm going to place them on the number line. I'm going to start with my positive numbers. So I'm going to go here to the positive 2, 0, 1, and 2. I have a 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. I have a 6. 4, 5, and 6, and then I have an 8. 6, 7, and 8. Okay, now I'm going to put the negative numbers on. So I'm going to start with this one over here, negative 5. That's 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And then I'm going to go to negative 3. Here's 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. I'm going to go with negative 6. There's 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and negative 9. I'm going to go negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, and negative 9. Even though this number, I'm not looking at the, the negative sign, even though this digit right there is the largest of all of them, because there's a negative sign in front of it, it's the one farthest to the left, so it's the smallest. Yep, it's negative 9. And which is the largest number? It's the one farthest to the right. It's 8. 
Okay, now we're going to put these numbers in order from least to greatest, and I'm not going to use the number line. I'll check it on the number line. Well, I'm going to start with my positive number, and I see that it's 1. That's pretty close to 0. I'm going to put it right there. There's 1. I'm looking for other positive numbers. Well, I know 5 is bigger than 1. And now the rest are negative. So negative 1 is right behind 0. So that would be smaller than 1 and 5. And the next one would be negative 4. The next would be negative 6. And the last one here would be negative 8. Negative 8 would be the smallest number up here. Let's check it on the number line. There, negative 8 is smaller than negative 6. Negative 6 is smaller than negative 4. Negative 4 is smaller than negative 1. 1 is bigger than those negative numbers. And 5 is bigger than all of them. Now this is where I want you to try it by yourself. I would like you to hit pause on the video, put these four numbers in order from least to greatest, and then press play to see if you got it right. Go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, now I'm going to put them in order for you. I'm going to put the zero first because it's what separates the positive and negative numbers. Well, I know the negative numbers go behind it, so I'm going to put negative two here and then negative seven. And then the positive number goes on this side. These numbers are in order from least to greatest. And here's your number line. Negative seven, negative two, zero, which isn't positive or negative, and the positive three. We're gonna try that one more time. Hit pause on the video and put these numbers in order, and then play again and check it. Okay, I'm putting them in order from least to greatest. The least number is the, the negative number that has the largest digit behind it. So negative eight is the smallest of all of them. After that is negative five. There's no more negative numbers, only positive. One is the smallest positive number, and seven is the largest positive number. Now let's check it, and we got it right. Negative eight, negative five, one, and seven. They're in order from least to greatest. You may need to have a number line in front of you to help you with this, but I'm gonna put the greater than or less than sign between these two numbers to compare them. The first one I'm looking at is negative three and positive seven. Well, I know that negative three is smaller than a positive seven. The next one, positive seven, and negative seven. I know a positive number is larger than a negative number, so that's the way that sign should be. This is a little tougher. I have two negatives, negative four and negative eight. Remember, the farthest to the left, the smaller the number. So negative eight is, small, is smaller than the negative four, and I read that negative four is greater than negative eight. Now I have a positive and a negative number. That's easy. The positive number is going to be bigger than a negative number because it's on the right-hand side of the number line. I have two positive numbers. Well, which one's bigger? The 11 is bigger, so I'm going to put this one there, and I read that 10 is less than 11. Here again, two positive numbers. Which one is the biggest? 8 is the biggest, and I read this 8 is greater than 5. I have a positive and a negative. Well, a positive number is always greater than a negative number. So that's the sign I would use. 12 is greater than negative 3. Here it's going to get tricky again. I have negative 3 and negative 1. Negative 3 is farther to the left, so it is smaller than negative 1. Here I have negative 7 and 5. The positive number is the greater, greater number. So this sign says negative seven is less than five. Here I have two negative numbers. Remember, the farther to the left it is, the smaller the number, and negative 11 is smaller to the left. So negative 10 
is greater than 11. You did a great job. If you want to practice this by playing a game, there's a fun one and it's called Number Balls. I don't think it works on an iPad, but uh, you can try it on a computer and it's part of School Time Games. There's the web address and have a good job. Bye for now. That's Ms. Freifeld.